How's it going? It's your boy Drew here. Today's video is a good one because it's it's basic. We're going back to the basics here. This is a video I think I should have made a long, long time ago, and it's something I wish existed when I first started off with my iPad photo booth business. Um, basically, it's what settings do you need to do um, and set on your iPad before an event. And this is just something you need to do one time, and it's gonna save you a lot of headache, and it's just, okay, let's get right into it. But before we get right into it, a couple things. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Um, it really helps me with this channel because it sees, it makes me know that there's value and people are really interested in in my content by, by subscribing. And um, don't even have to hit the like button, just, just subscribe, just make sure you subscribe. And then also lastly, you guys, at the end of the video, please stick around, I have a huge announcement. Um, it's, it's literally life changing for me and it's gonna be a game changer for you if you're uh, interested. So let's get right into it. I have my 12.9 uh, iPad Pro here. I'm gonna hit the record button and I'm gonna throw it up on the screen so you guys can see it. Perfect, we're recording. So let's go into settings. Um, first thing you guys you're gonna want to hit software update and um, Under the settings you're gonna see I have mine set to off right a lot of people have theirs on I like it off because How can I explain this so? If it's automatic, it's gonna update whenever there's an, an update for the iOS on your iPad to um, Update it's gonna do it by itself The reason why I like mine off is because I had one or two instances back in the day where the software I was using wasn't ready for that update. So when it did the update, it caused a bug in my software. Um, that's no good. You don't wanna, you know, have a hiccup just because of an update that you really didn't even need for, for your iPad. So I like to just leave it off and update it when I need it, update it when I know that there is a good reason to do it. Um, so let's move on. We're gonna go down to uh, display and brightness. Okay, display and brightness. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do guys is make sure True Tone is off. I don't like having the iPad doing any kind of adjustments, um, you know, especially for drop-offs or even when you're there, it's just, I like everything to be set and not to change. And then if you notice, my brightness is set all the way because if I go, you bring the brightness down, the screen gets lower in brightness and you want it all the way up because if you have your iPad in your photo booth shell, right, there's a ring light, the light's gonna be bright, and then if you have a very dim um, iPad, it's gonna be really hard to see, and that could be annoying for users. So having all the brightness all the way up really, really helps the experience, and um, that's pretty much the reason for the brightness and the true tone being off. And then this right here, value bomb, you guys, right here it says auto lock, you wanna hit never. So what auto lock is, is basically, you know, if your iPad isn't being used in two minutes, like let's say you just have it on, you know, right here, like this screen here, if you don't use it in two minutes, it's gonna basically go into sleep mode. And this is no good because, you know, let's just say you're at an event and you have auto lock set to two minutes. If no one uses your photo booth in two minutes, it goes to sleep. So that means every time, like let's say if there's a 10 minute stretch, right, where no one's using the booth, that, mean, that means you're gonna have to go every single time while it goes to sleep and turn it back on. And this is terrible for doing drop-offs because if you're dropping your, your uh, iPad photo booth off, they're gonna think it's broken or it's not working. And you know, having it set to never means that the, the, the software will stay on, it's not gonna sleep. But I totally understand Apple's reasoning for having this uh, feature. It's mainly just because um, you know, it saves battery, right? So like, let's say if I'm using my iPad and you know, iPad is like set to two minutes, they'll know to put it in lock mode. They know that I'm not using it. And uh, no, you can conserve conserve battery that way, you know, that way it's not on. So that's a huge tip, you guys. That's probably the most important thing in this video. Auto lock set to never. And coming in second, I think, and this is the last thing I'm gonna talk about, you wanna go down to accessibility and guided access. We're gonna turn that on, but before I turn it on, let me talk about why it's important. So what guided access is gonna do, it's gonna basically allow you to lock like your software. So you have your photo booth software up it's gonna allow you to lock it and not allow anyone to exit the software. And um, this is important because if you have your software um, up and you don't have guided access on, all they have to do is hit the home button or swipe up on your iPad and that can exit the software. So 
I've had this happen plenty of times before I knew about guided access. Um, you know, um, someone at the party accidentally hit home and all they saw were, was this. <laughs> the, the widgets in the back, like they don't, this doesn't look like a photo booth, right? Accessibility, you're gonna turn guided access on. You're gonna go to passcode settings and then you're gonna set a passcode. For mine, I'll just make it simple. I'll just do all five. All right, so now we have guided access on. Let me open up uh, Curator and show you guys what it is. So I'm gonna hit yes, photo booth. Okay. So now this is the software open and this is what guided access will do. So I'm gonna hit triple click, the home button. So the home button right is right here, one, two, three. Guided access is now started. So now that you see it. So now, software is up. I'm gonna hit the home button and it won't allow me to exit. It's asking for me to triple click the top button. One, two, three. Hit my passcode, all fives. Now I hit end. And then now I can actually exit the app. So this is super important, um, especially for drop-offs. You do not want to leave that up to chance that someone, you know, just make sure guided access is on. It doesn't matter if you're there at the event or if you're dropping it off. So I know I mentioned that I have a huge announcement at the end of the video. And uh, man, I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so as you guys know, uh, I do sell photo booths and um, I also include some other stuff to get you going. And I've been doing this all from my home, um, but officially starting in December, I will have my own commercial space. Um, I am in the LA area, so if anyone is in SoCal or wants to make the trip out here, I'm gonna have a showroom. I'm gonna have three different types of photo booths. Um, you'll see soon if you see my old videos that they're there. But the company I am starting is called Photo Booth 101, a place where you can buy your own photo booth business. Um, I mean, Photo Booth 101, you guys, it's, it's, it's everything I wish I had starting off. If you do wanna invest, um, and I'm not saying you need a ton of money to, to do business with Photo Booth 101. Um, we will be doing a basically um, allowing people to pay in payments. We're gonna be setting that up at um, on our website and in our store. So, you know, you can buy a photo booth, backdrop, printer, um, you know, the paper, the ribbon, and then also included in all purchases is a contract sample that you basically can use for your customers. We're gonna have all the forms that you need to give your customers, like if someone's interested in booking with you, it'll be a, uh, a form that has questions on it. Everything you'll need to know about an event to get there, and then after that, there's a template form. So, you know, if, you're, if someone's hiring you, they're gonna, you're gonna make a custom template. It'll be all those questions on that form too. So, we're gonna just give you every single tool possible to succeed and it's everything you'll need. So if you're in LA area or you wanna come to LA, buy a photo booth, you know, you can look at everything in person. And I think that's huge. I know a lot of people don't wanna pull the trigger on, on something until they see the full thing in person. It's a lot easier to, you know, commit to something when you can see it. And you can also meet me. That will be in December. And um, also you guys, uh, I will leave my email in the description. So if you're interested in come checking out the showroom or you wanna buy a photo booth right now, let me know, I can make that happen. And yeah, wow, 10 minutes on this video coming up. So I'm gonna end it here. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Take care.